Oh, so don't cringe. <laughs> I decided to paint over this big one that I did. It was quite a large gallery wrapped canvas. I was just something that I wasn't feeling. I just, I don't know. I just felt that I needed to not waste this gorgeous canvas. I was going to give it another go and see if I could create something um, better than what was there, but still might end up painting over it again. Who knows? It's all um, practice, isn't it? And experience. So I am covering this lovely large canvas in a uh, phalo blue. And then I'm going to decide actually what to do with it. I don't mind even if those shapes and that come through underneath so it's a nice um, relaxing bit getting this um, coat on and coating it so let's see what's next. I have this lovely kind of duck egg blue I think you would call it that I custom made out of well literally pouring some colours that I had left and I thought well I'll split the canvas and have one side the dark colour and one the lighter there's my little Meggie um, and I'm going to spread that basically over the canvas so it might end up to be like chaos blow but splitting the canvas with the, the different colours but I think I might keep all in the bluey tones so see how we go I'm just using that little um, other pinky dryer that I have there it's a hair dryer it, it's not my favorite one it's um a wall w a h l i think it is um but it seems to be absolutely fine for this kind of thing just um i'm making sure that i've got more of my phalo blue on the other side so when i come to blow it out the colors will uh, blow out nicely i think this next color i'm using is called tahiti it's like a very pale pepperminty blue and then that one is the um, gold, a metallic gold. And then I'm adding some more of kind of that duck egg blue, but on the um, darker blue side more so. And what shall I pop in there? Because I didn't want to add too much. So a bit more of the um, phalo blue so I can use that to blow up onto the lighter side. And then I'm going with a cool red on that side. So let's see what I get between the both of them. Just a little bit of white to make sure my paint blows. But sometimes the white does dilute the rest of the paint, you know, vibrancy. So we'll see how we go. I'm getting my little favourite um, blow dryer and seeing how it goes but I certainly do intend not just blow drying it blowing it out I certainly want to do my signature balloon kissing in it to just soften it all up and change the composition in there a bit because as you can see I think that looks a little bit boring so I need to uh, change it up a bit my dogs are in there, always moseying around, so you can guess what colour they end up. All colours of the rainbow by hanging out in my art room with me. But um, I do appreciate them there and enjoy them there. So all in all, it's um, definitely therapy. I'm just going to try that little finger popper. It fits on your finger and it's got a sponge on the end, so instead of pushing your fingers through it it actually pushes the sponge so it'll help me separate some of that paint and give more defined lines but then I can absolutely work on that I'm trying my thumb instead my finger instead thinking it it might work a bit better but it kind of worked the same didn't it don't you think um, just add in some nice sort of squiggles in it but it will definitely all change when I start with my balloon work So 
There you go. I had to stand back for a few seconds there to sort of think, now, how am I going to go my plan of attack? I definitely wanted to bring the, the light on the dark colour and the dark on the light colour. So it kind of, they look like butterflies, dragonflies and fireflies. Um, but it kind of, the more I play with it, I sort of think it brings it together rather than leaving those two negative spaces very bare. But I mean, some people might like that. But I absolutely love this and it has actually dried gorgeous. So I'm happy that I did change it. I mean, some of you, well, I'm sure, will write to me saying, no, nope, it was better as it was. But remember, it's your art, your rules, your way. So I have to do what I feel is in my heart to do and I just so enjoyed this process look at my happy doggies oh and that naughty Meg she had a blue nose and a blue paw after that so um what do you think of the finished product look it's um yeah maybe not for some I just put a that that was a photo app put in a frame around it some may like it some may not um but all in all, I was really happy with the end product. So let me know what you think, please. That would be a help to me. Um, and it helps me and my channel as a creator. So my lovelies, I will say bye for now. And I'll be back again tomorrow. Take care. resined that lovely caramelly earthy bloom and I also put a little bit of dragonfly glaze in the um, resin so to give it even more sparkle I'm not sure if you're getting the sparkle turned out beautiful so yeah it's been done a few weeks now I know the video only came out yesterday but if you want to catch up and have a look at the video that's up on my YouTube channel right now but yeah really popped with the resin on it love the sides of the canvas do they come out really well where's that one come out beautiful oh good absolutely brilliantly sunny day here for winter in Australia couldn't wish for better it's gonna be about 26 today so got my puppy dogs lying right here at my feet where's the other one she's somewhere around here 